Kids from Japan. I am the Tokyo Toy Bastard. And I bought a bunch of junk again. Yay! In this first bag here, uh, we've got a lot of Ultraman, uh, which is why I bought this. I am on a bit of an Ultraman binge recently. But there's also some, looks like, uh, Super Sentai stuff and random dinosaurs. But this is pretty Ultraman heavy. And I picked it up for uh, 500 yen, which it says there, but it's been marked off. But I believe you saw it in the video. And the second bag I picked up, these are both huge, by the way, uh, is some more um, Ultraman stuff. And on this one, there's also some Common Rider and some other different Sentai stuff mixed in. But all in all, again, for 500 yen, about five bucks, uh, I'm definitely sure there's stuff in here worth uh, picking up for my own collection and to sell. So yeah, anything that you see in here, and any, any of these that I end up not claiming, please claim them in the comments or hit me up on Instagram or my Facebook at Tokyo Toy Bastard because anything that I don't think will sell or I'm not too sure about will end up being getting dumped uh, later this weekend at a local secondhand shop. So basically that's what I do because I don't have a bunch of clutter and junk at my house. Real quick before I dump those out, I do want to talk about a couple items that I picked up separately in the junk bin. Uh, or in the junk rack area. Uh, the first one was, I showed this in the video, I believe. Uh, it was in just a loose junk sofa bee. And uh, it's a really nice, minty, clean uh, Ultra 7. And up until last week, I wasn't very familiar with Ultra 7. And uh, I ordered the uh, Blu-ray set by Mill Creek and uh, started watching some of it. And it's, it's actually really good. So um, this one is, I believe this is vintage Bandai. Uh, but it's not super vintage. It's 83, 1983, if you can see that on the foot there, 1983. So this is basically like first wave Bandai stuff. But um, yeah, I thought he'd be cool to pick up, and he was only 100 yen. So vintage Bandai for 100 yen, can't beat it. Also this, uh, this is not vintage, but it's amazing. I have been collecting like little dioramas, dioramas, dioramas of uh, Ultraman, which I showed in my last pickup video. Um, the uh, Salaryman Heroes line, which were by Poppy. And this is completely different. This is like a Showa era styled uh, drunk, off his ass uh, Ultraman with a red face, uh, stumbling home with a gift for his wife, which is a very stereotypical, like uh, Japanese uh, Showa like style Salaryman uh, type of thing going on. And in the background, you can see like some, um, some old school, uh, Tokyo Street type stuff going on back there and uh, on the plaque I can't read I don't know what the kanji says in the front there it says something Ultraman and then here it says uh, Pero, Pero di, Parody Ultraman but yeah that was pretty cool and I like this little case like this is nice just to have for display even if I don't uh, hold on to this guy anyway I've been talking about this too long let's dump the junk shall we All right, that's a massive pile. Next one. Good Lord. Jesus Christ. Quote Ian Malcolm, that's one big pile of shit. Um, this is going to take me a while to sort through. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the old Ultraman stuff out, separate it by the ones I know, the ones I don't know, and I don't know if I'm going to have time to go through all of this on camera, so anything that's interesting I will show. Anything that I'm not clear on, I will show because that's where you guys come in because anytime I'm not sure what something is, you guys always let me know in the comments, which is amazing. And I thank you guys so much for that. So let me get this sorted and we'll come back and I'll have it uh, in nice little rows, neatly placed, and we'll talk about each item uh, or each little group. All right, see you in a second. 
Okay, so we're back. Uh, I've gone and I've gone through and sorted everything. My God, there was a lot of stuff in there. My fingers feel very sticky now. But I pulled out the best stuff, and I thought we'd talk about the best stuff first. So, the first thing we have is this little car. Um, friction. Also, uh, we have a beetle, which I thought was real at first. I thought it was a cockroach that was in the bag. Wouldn't have surprised me. But thankfully, it wasn't real. Up next, we've got this uh, beautiful, just beautiful leg. Um, you know, I, I thought I thought it might have been from a stormtrooper or something, but it's it's obviously not. So, uh, if you know anyone that's missing a leg, you know, we got a really nice one right here. Also, we have a fine example of a dinosaur. Uh, I think this is Jurassic Park brand. Um, but I think someone's erased the JP on it because, uh, yeah, I mean, that's totally, that's totally like Kenner Jurassic Park, right? Look at the quality. Okay, you know I've been joking, right? Um, this was not in the junk bag, but I, I actually forgot to mention that I found this today, so I thought I'd show some of the things. Those were actually, those things that I just threw over there, those were in the junk bag. Those were literally the bits of junk that were not uh, soft vinyl uh, Sentai or Tokusatsu characters. But I did find this today too, so I'm going to talk about it real quick. So I found this copy of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And if you watch my channel, you know I'm not a gamer. I do not play video games. Uh, once in a blue moon I do. And when I do, it's usually with friends for fun not online and uh, not for hours and hours but i have fond memories of playing this game uh around the time that i graduated high school with some of my friends and um man i saw it for 13 was it 1320 that that's about 12 bucks 12 to 13 bucks uh usd and um i found this like what as i was about to leave just sitting on top of a shelf and i was like oh shit that game's awesome, and I recently acquired a PlayStation 2 uh, for about $10 on Yahoo Auctions, a thousand yen. And I've gotten some games, but I was like, man, I wish I could find some really good games so that I could play with my kids and, and my friends. And um, man, I was like, okay, oh. most of the junk, junky PlayStation 2 games that they had there were going for about 100 yen to 300 yen, so one to three bucks. And then I was like, oh, this one's thirteen twenty. I guess it's a pretty rare game. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll pay that much for it. And then I got on uh, eBay and some other websites and checked the prices on this thing. My God, this thing sells for $50 plus at the cheapest. So I was very happy to pick this up for such a cheap price. Uh, most of the listings in the U.S. that I've seen are $100 and more. So uh, I haven't got a chance to play it yet. When my kids get home, we'll, we'll crack it open and give it a shot. But super excited about this. All right, let's get to the, the big figure lots of soft finals toys. Uh, maybe we'll start with um, start with the Sentai stuff. Okay, real quick, before I, I spend half an hour setting up each of these group lots, trying to stand them up, which I may or may not work out, um, I just wanted to point out a couple more things that were uh, different from the rest of the lot, but sort of themed? Not really. I assume these are Pokemon. Uh, these are like the little soft vinyl puppets. I find these occasionally. Are these Pokemon or Digimon? Let me know. I, I really don't know the difference. Of course, if I see a Pokemon that I've heard of, you know, I know the difference, but... Uh, I've got old man, ghosty, horn thing, and uh, demon goat dog thing. Those are going on the floor. And then these guys, which I think are actually very interesting. Are these big bad beagle beetleborgs? Big bad beagleborgs. <laughs> beagleborgs. Beetleborgs. Uh, I never really watched the show, but I always caught the intro. Big bad beetle porks still sticks in my head. What is it? 20 plus years later. Uh, this one is soft vinyl. And this one is made out of hard plastic. And I really like the design on this one and how it feels. It's very chunky and uh, it's very cool. I, I actually kind of like this one. This is one I might just keep in my little random. I've got a little section of like random toys that I don't really collect but I think are cool. Uh, just from these junk lots. This might go on that. But let me know if you're interested or if you uh, know more about these guys. Alright, on to the next big lot. 
Okay, the first little lot we're going to talk about here are the only other related but non Sophobie items. Everything else after this is all going to be Sophobie. If you're not sure what Sophobie means, soft vinyl toys. These are not soft vinyl. These are all hard PVC. And the majority of these are pretty much Japanese Happy Meal toys from McDonald's. With the exception of this one, for sure. Um, this is some sort of Sentai character. Um, and it's a key. And I see these all the time of different kinds of Sentai characters. Kamen Rider too. And I assume that these plug into some kind of toy. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I guess kids lose these or just don't care about them anymore. Because I just see these all the time, all over the place. And people are basically just giving them away. So this will go in the junk bin with all that other crap I just talked about. Except for that big bad Beetleborg. All right, and all of these have some action features on them, which I will demonstrate real quick. So I think this one's my favorite one. He looks the coolest out of all these characters. I don't know why I like him the most, but he does this. That's it. I like it. This guy, uh, he's got one of those seeing seeing see-through thingies. Is that what he's got? He's got a see-through thing. I don't know. I can't really tell. Oh, he's got a light. He's got a light. Sorry. A couple of these have see-through uh, little glass eyeball thingies, you know, where you put your eyeball in them, like this one. You look inside, and it, uh, what is this one? What can you see on this one? Uh, you can see pictures of the show. You can just, I don't know if, see if I can get this. Let's see if we can get that. You see there's a dude, in, there's a little guy in there. Can you see him? Is that all it shows? How do I switch it? I don't know how to switch it. Oh, I see it. There's a, there's a little dial on the side. Let's see, can we see a different guy? Different picture. Okay, there's a belt. I see the belt. This is riveting. Okay, next one. Uh, this guy. The, he has a switch that does something. I guess he had a light that worked, but it doesn't work anymore. Here's the same guy. Now, this one's a little more interesting. If you move his arm, his wheel spins. Yay! Uh, this guy does this. This guy's got a wheel that turns and makes his arm crank. Hoo, 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 hoo. Um, Ninja Man. What does he do? Looks like he's got a knife stuck in his head. What does he do? Does he have an action feature? Or he just looks neat? Oh, he, well, how do I make his arms move without actually just moving his arms? I guess that's it. Exciting. Another one of these guys. I'm not going to waste my time with that shit. And this guy is just like a robot and he has a pizza cutter hand. Pizza. Oh my god, that took a long time to set up. <laughs> um, I ended up bringing this little plastic, clear plastic stand uh, that my daughter was using for something else and just propping up the three in the back so that I could prop all the other ones against it because they kept falling down and it took forever. Anyway. So we've got all the Kamen Rider guys on this side and all the Sentai guys on this side. There might be a couple in there mixed together. I'm not too familiar with any of these. So these are all soft vinyl, except for these two right here in the front. And this one, I've forgotten this one was in there. And this is more modern than any of the other stuff in there, I believe. Uh, it's obviously a Kamen Rider guy. Well, I only say that because he's got a tire in his chest and it spins. It's kind of cool. It's a cool little figure. But uh, it's not not my thing. But anyway, if you want him, let me know. He's going over here. So yeah, we've got these two little uh, little SD Sentai dudes. I don't know anything about Sentai other than uh, Super Sentai's been running for a long time. And that's where we got the Power Rangers. And basically the Power Rangers were just the same show from Japan that had taken out the Japanese actors and replaced them with American actors, etc. Et I know the history of all that shit. So... Um, I was just, just barely too old to start watching Power Rangers. I caught a few episodes of it. I had just gotten out of Jurassic Park. I was still kind of in Jurassic Park. And, um, Power Rangers came on and I was like, oh, cool. And, yeah, I'm not really into it. But I did see some of it. Um, so I don't have a lot of nostalgia for it at all. But, you know, if you like it, that's cool. So if you recognize any of these guys, I do know that they change out the uh, Super Sentai series every year here in Japan. So there's just fuckloads of these things. Uh, all of these, I believe, are from the last decade or so. Although this little lady right here 
if I'm not mistaken, if I can get it to focus correctly, uh, is from the um, the series that came to the U.S. or one right before that. This one is marked. I can't even see it in my viewfinder or my uh, my lens if this is actually focusing or anything. Uh, I believe this one says 1989. Yep, 1989 Bandai. So this could have been uh, one of the earlier uh, incarnations that went to the U.S. I'm not entirely sure if this made it. But anyway, this is one of the few vintage pieces in here, so that's kind of cool. If you're interested in this yellow ranger, let me know. Uh, as for the other guys, yeah, we're not going to talk about them. Uh, I did want to talk about these these uh, writers up here in the front. I'm also not very familiar with Common Rider. I love the classic original Common Rider design, and I do really like some of these guys. Unfortunately, there's no original Common Riders in here, but we did have some of these right here. Um, when were these made? Let's see, 2009. Yeah, so these are all still within the last couple decades. But you had a couple different uh, size variations of this of this writer, and I like the design on this one. Once you get into the very modern shit, it just looks like blah. It looks like someone just threw up, like, just dark colors and spiky hair and shit. It all just looks like shit. Yeah. Um, but these guys right here in the front, I like these. Especially this dude. We got three different sizes of him. These are really cool. Cool little designs. And uh, is this the same character, but, like, with armor? I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. These guys, these guys, I will probably hang on to these and post them up for sale or something. The rest of that shit, if, uh, if you know what it is and you can explain it to me in a comment, let me know. Otherwise, this is all getting thrown away. Well, not really thrown away. It's getting sold at a secondhand shop. Oh, I, I kind of like these little four too. These are kind of cool. Shoulder pad man. And no shoulder pad man. That's their name, right? Okay, here is the first half-ish. Uh, no, it's not quite half. It's a little less than half. Uh, well, it's a big chunk of the Ultraman stuff that was in the, the two bags. Uh, and this is all of the more modern stuff, uh, starting from Ultraman Tiga from in the mid-90s up until the last decade or so. Uh, these guys I'm not familiar with at all. Um, Tiga, I've watched a little bit of, and I recognize some of the stuff from Tiga, but otherwise, I really don't know anything about, especially, like, these guys in the back here. Isn't it, like, Ultraman Mevius or something like that? And I really don't know. There's too many Ultra series, and I'm basically just sticking with the vintage stuff. Although, uh, the standout pieces in this little lot here, uh, for me, are this little, this little soft vinyl dude. I love miniature soft vinyls that have articulation, and, um... I'm not sure which Ultra this is, uh, but it's a really cool little figure. Let's see, what does it say about the year? Uh, it's hard to make out. I think 1998. So yeah, this is probably something from uh, Tiga or whatever came after Tiga. And the little black one here. And I know Tiga has like different color modes for his uniform or his Ultra whatever thing. But I guess that's one of them because I recognize the, the, the stripes and the, like the diamond knees as being Tiga. And then also th this little pair here is kind of cool. I don't know who these guys are or if this is the same person in, in a different mode. But uh, yeah, these have more of a, a retro look to them. These these give off more of the, the 70s uh, vibes. And it looks like there's another little mentor of him too. But yeah, these are cool. And there's a little Tiga um, finger puppet down here. So yeah, that's this, that's this little lot. Uh, a lot of these guys are kind of damaged like this guy. Like, his eyes have been scratched out. But um, in this back, there's pretty much a double of everything. If you look here, it's a mirror image. So, like, this is the same, this is the same, these are the same, these are the same. And then this one is, this is actually not a soft final. This is a big electronic toy with a light-up light. Um, but yeah, this is all going to get dumped tomorrow. Uh, I might hold on to the Tiga-related stuff because I know that's a big seller and a lot of people like Tiga. And eventually, when I get around to watching all Tiga, I'll probably like it too. But the ones that are really cool for Tiga... Nah, I don't know. Anyway, let me know if you want any of this stuff. Uh, I will hold. I will be holding on to this for at least 24 hours. So I hope you watch this video soon. If not, uh, <laughs> oh well. 
All right, let's get on to the vintage era Ultraman stuff. Okay, and after a lot more work, uh, here is most of the vintage retro era uh, Ultraman things that were inside of that lot. Um, most of these are from the early 80s, Bandai 1983, up until the early 90s. Um, and we've got a little host of characters here. And I've got some I put aside because I kind of wanted to talk about them also. Uh, real quick, um, and I wanted this to look very symmetrical because you can see there's a lot of doubles here. And that's been a theme throughout this uh, junk bag is doubles of certain characters. And although some of these look like doubles, some of these actually uh, are slightly different variations of each other. And I wouldn't want to bore you going through every single variation. But if you look closely here and you know these characters or you know these toy lines, you might be able to spot the differences. So most of the ones that are displayed here, except for these three in the middle, I think, uh, are ones that I will have up for grabs. And these are these will mostly be ones that I will hang on to uh, and not dump tomorrow because, uh, yeah, I can generally sell this kind of stuff a lot easier to uh, friends and followers who are into Ultraman and not, not as much so the newer stuff. But anyway, real quick, I wanted to show a couple kaiju that were in there as well. Um, but this is this is not vintage. This one, this one right here is 2012, and it's it's kind of dirty and grimy and stuff. So that might just get junked. Uh, and then this one, who I, I'm not familiar with this kaiju at all, uh, kind of looks like a two-headed big bird with uh, scythe arms. But uh, yeah. Um, all right. So I will talk about these three in the middle in just a second. But uh, basically, you've got an assortment of um, Zolfi, I believe. Right? Is that Zolfi? I've got another one here. Ultraman Zoffy. I still haven't gotten to the episode with that that plot point, but I believe that's Zoffy, right? And uh, he's like a higher level Ultraman or something like that. He's basically the same suit, essentially, but with like rivets. But yeah, I had this one too. He he just didn't fit into the symmetry there, so I I left him out. But he's a bigger one, from uh, two thousand nine. So yeah, he's not that vintage. So anything like that, I left out. Uh, so yeah, we've got your Zoffy. You've got your Ultra 7, you got a couple Ultra 7s here. And these are actually different versions of the same figure, I believe. Uh, you've got some various standard Ultramen. Um, you've also got the Ultraman with a triangle on the chest, which I'm not sure what that is yet. I, like I said, I'm new. I'm new to the Ultraman stuff. I'm still learning. There's so much to learn about. Um, and then this guy right here uh, with the... Uh, I, I really like his design. I've got a couple more here of uh, this guy. And... Uh, up until recently, I always thought he was Ultraman Ace, but now I know that he is not Ultraman Ace. But he has an A on his uh, his belly, so I thought that stood for Ace. So is this one of the Ultra Brothers? Does he have a designation? I did I did do a quick little like Google uh, before I started filming, but um, I wasn't gonna sit here. Okay, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, my wife called me, and since I use my phone to film, uh, that basically immediately shuts off whatever I'm filming. So. Uh, it happens occasionally and it pisses me off, but she doesn't know that I'm filming, so it's not her fault. But still, I don't remember what I was talking about. I know it was these guys, but anyway, let me know who, which Ultra this is. Um, that, that, blah, blah, blah. All right, next one. I do know this guy, but I haven't watched him in the show yet. So this is Ultraman Taro, right? So there are no Taros over here. I got a bunch of him in the last lot uh, from last week. But I got this little mini one here that's kind of cool. But this one is translucent. Let me see if I can demonstrate that with my light over here. Ooh la la. Translucent. Um, I haven't watched anything with Ultraman Taro in it. But if you're interested, let me know. I will hang on to these guys. They're cool. Alright. And this guy. I got a giant one of these in the last slot. Um, and the first thing I thought of when I saw this guy was Action Kamen or Action Bastard from uh, Crayon Shinchan because the Crayon Shinchan Action Bastard basically looks like a cross between this version of whatever Ultra this is and the old Kamen Rider. Um, but I don't know what, what version of Ultra this is, so if you know, let me know. And, uh, I really like him. I've actually got a really giant one that I gave my son and, um, he set it up behind my Blu-ray player, and it looks kind of cool there. 
let's see, this one is 1996. So is actually this, is this more modern? Is this from like the Taro era? Let me know. I don't know. And the last two that I'm gonna single out here before we get to these juicy gentlemen in the center uh, are these two right here. So this was actually not a soft final, uh, but this is an Ultraman Jack figure uh, that's kind of cool. And I, I'm not collecting Jack, so. Uh, if you're interested in a 1996 Bandai kind of neat little Ultraman Jack, he will be waiting for you. And then this one, which is really cool. This is something I'll probably hold on to my, by myself. Uh, it is a soft final toy, and um, but he's posed, and <laughs> on the back of his leg, it actually says in English, will it focus? It says, not posable. Thank you for letting me know, Leg. But he looks cool in his flying pose, you know, like the beginning of the show. Oh, well, I don't know if I can angle it correctly. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, sorry guys. I'm going to get you out of the way here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and we got two Fathers of Ultra back here. Which look like, uh, same mold, different figure variants. So, and they're, but they're pretty beat up. But these are, um... Mm, 2005, oh, 1989, aha, uh -huh. so this is the same mold, ah, no, it's not, the mouth is different, oh, yeah, these are very different, similar scale, so this is vintage, this is not, but they both look just as grubby, now, these are the ones I wanted to talk about, so I discovered this character, um, because I got a really awesome pimped out Keshi of him, uh, last week in my pickups, and I was informed that this is the King, King of Ultra, or Ultra King, or something like that, and, uh, I think he's awesome looking. He, well, the Keshi looked way cooler, but still, I do collect, uh, Mother of Ultra and Father of Ultra, even though I've never watched Ultraman Ace, or whatever they're from later on. I just think they're really cool designs, and same goes for this guy. So that's another little small collection I'm gonna start. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think these are vintage. This is 2007. I mean, not that it matters. They're still really cool, but I like to keep uh, most of my stuff vintage uh, as, po as possible when it comes to this stuff. And then this guy, I actually haven't looked into this at all. I just opened it up and I was like, wow, that guy's awesome. So he's got kind of like the mustache type thing going on. And I didn't know if he was related to the Ultra King or whatever. I don't know, is this is this more of a modern guy? Let's see, what 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 date is this? I just thought he was awesome, so I stuck him in the back there. Okay, 1989. So this is vintage. Uh, but I don't know what it is. Was this a kaiju? Or was this like a transformation that one of the Ultras could do? I don't know. Like, he's got a mustache -y thing going on. So he reminds me of uh, the king or uh, father of Ultra because he's, uh, he's got his chops and his little beard there. But yeah, let me know what this character is because he's, he's pretty wicked. All right, well, all in all, 50% uh, of this I will be keeping uh, to put it for sale. A few little pieces I'll keep for my collection. So let me know if uh, if you want some of this stuff. Again, hit me up on Instagram at Tokyo Toy Bastard. Let me know in the comments below if you don't use Instagram. I also have Facebook. You can find me on Tokyo, to uh, Tokyo Toy Bastard there. All of these will be linked below. I also have a Patreon now. Um, if you want to sign up, I've got three tiers. You can do different things with each tier. And I've been posting a few little things on there. Uh, thank you to the uh, one or two Patreons I have so far, or patrons I have so far. Thank you guys so much. You actually helped basically pay for the train ticket today to go junk hunting. And um, so I had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, check that out. Link below. I hope you had a lot of fun too watching me go through a bunch of junk. I hope I didn't make this over long. I tried to get it as fast as possible by putting everything in the big lots. And, uh, you know, I didn't have as many, uh, variety, much as variety today, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So let me know what you want to see next. Um, I actually had planned on filming another video today, but the package with those items did not come. So maybe tomorrow I will try to get up another video tomorrow and maybe, uh, maybe my kids will join because, uh, I think they'll have some interesting perspectives on, uh, some of the items I get in and yeah, that's it. Make sure you leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.